After months of uncertainty and adjusting to our new normals, one thing is about to get back to normal, perhaps, and that is football. We are less than one week from NFL football coming back to the airwaves of our televisions, but we are less than a day from high school athletes around the state returning to the gridiron for practice. The young athletes are preparing for a season they hope might be just around the corner. Good evening, I'm Mitch Carr. Team 12's Michael Doudna talked with a local health expert and coaches about what's next. Michael? 60 days ago, Arizona was one of the worst in the nation for COVID-19. But after weeks of seeing cases and hospitalizations drop, well, football practice is set to make a comeback on Monday. And everyone in sports wants to come back to story too, yeah. right? Two months ago, it may have felt like a long shot, a Hail Mary, but football may be back. I've never seen kids so happy to be at practice. Where the majority of the counties in our state have met the metrics to be able to begin football. Coaches and the Arizona Interscholastic Association have the go-ahead to start getting ready for the season with hopes that the first games may begin the week of September 30th. But how safe is it? After all, it's hard to be socially distanced when you're fighting for a fumble. We're not going to make this a perfect thing. Every time that we start introducing groups of people back together, there's a chance for the virus to spread. Christina Wilson is a doctor at Phoenix Children's Hospital. She helped create the recommendations on how and when football can return. Sports aren't returning just like sports have always been. They're going to look very different. That could mean closed locker rooms, not trying to play through an illness, and depending on the district, fewer fans. If we don't do this correctly, one, we probably won't be playing a football season in October. Wilson says football can return relatively safely, but people need to be responsible, as a spike could cause everything to be delayed or the season to be canceled. It's incredibly fluid. And ultimately, each school district decides when they will return. Already, 23 schools have canceled fall sports completely, and even for those hitting the football field again on Monday, a season is not guaranteed. And there is concern here just beyond COVID-19. Dr. Wilson says players may be at more risk for injury because they may have missed summer practice or summer conditioning, so she hopes they are brought along gradually to make sure they stay injury-free. We're in Phoenix, Michael Doudna, 12 News.